to the channel this is our copy you are on to ec for edit blog and then this video we're going to be looking at the remains of the specimen that is on group two if you are new in this channel don't forget to hit on the subscription button to get our new videos and if you have any question drop it on the comment section okay on today's um, video we're going to be looking at the head of a domestic fowl head of a domestic fowl i will be looking at a cock a cock yes if you look at the head of a domestic fowl you see something like this the head of a domestic fowl you see a comb and a very long beak okay and the wattle. This is the eye. This is the comb. This is the mouth or beak. This is the wattle. This is the neck. Okay, that's what you see in the head of a fowl. Okay, interestingly, we're going to look at the role of this. The mouth of a fowl. Mouth is modified into a beak into a beak the role of the beak is for feeding on grains feeding the role of this beak is feeding on grains feeding on grains that is the role of the beak the role of the eye is for seeing, is for seeing or for vision. Okay. In the next, um, in the next specimen, that is specimen gel, is quill feather. Now that's a diagram of specimen, specimen J quill feather. What I have here must you must attach magnification to this or maybe magnification of this will be times one okay magnification is calculated by the diagram on paper if the diagram on paper is 8 cm and they measure the diagram the live diagram and it gives you about 8 cm as well Okay, so 2 will give you mg to be times 1. Very important that this should be there. And again, the title of the diagram, which is quail feather. Make sure you draw with pencil. Okay, the tip is called the feather tip. There is a notch on it through which where the vein balances or the skin of the feather balances. In between the skin of the Feather that is the vein runs a what a what a ratchet a ratchet runs in between the vein of the feather with a several bumps. Bumps can be all over the vein, but for the sake of neatness of diagram, you can select a portion where you label the bumps. Then the remains of the bumps are called downy bump, downy bump at the bottom of it. So the the base of the downy bump is called the calyx, and the hole at the end of the feather is called the umbilicus or proximal umbilicus, as the case may be. Okay, there is a relation between this H and J. In that, examiner will want to know. May I want to ask you to give example of organism that has this type of quill feather. Give example apart from this domestic fowl. Give other example of organism with this type of feather. Other example of organism apart from domestic fowl will be, will be pigeon. Pigeon also has this type of feather. Pigeon. Pigeon has this type of feather. Even turkey has this type of feather. Even dog. Dog have this type of feather. Uh, eagle also has this type of feather and so on and so forth. This example of organism with this feather. The function of this feather is to insulate, protect the bird protection, insulates the bird as, as well. It's just the skin, 
So it's just like the skin of mammal is covered with hair. The skin of birds are covered with these feathers. Other feathers, there are other feathers apart from feathers. There are counter feathers, there is philoplume, there is creel feather. But this creel feather is most important because it protects the bed and also insulates the bed. Give an example of other organism that has this type of feather. I mentioned pigeon, I mentioned uh I mentioned pigeon, I mentioned dog. Dog is also in specimen L and then M as well. Okay, now let's quickly look at the classification of H and G. Organism with this prey feather are birds. They can also be dog. But let's classify this organism into kingdom. Into the kingdom, the phylum, and the class. Organism here belongs to a kingdom, Animalia. Phylum is Codata, animal with notochord. And then class is Ips. Apes are animals whose mouth is modified into a beak, and animals whose skin is covered with different type of feathers. Okay, then away from specimen J. Okay, before specimen K, let's look at the habitat of this specimen H. Specimen H is mostly terrestrial. Terrestrial, they are land organisms. But there is one particular organism. Though these are all birds. That are birds that its habitat is both both terrestrial and aquatic is dock. Dock can live both life on land and in water. Okay. Away from specimen H and then J. Let's go to specimen K. Leg of domestic fowl. Still of domestic fowl, but this time they are only talking about the leg of domestic fowl. The leg of domestic fowl, you're going to see scales on their leg, scales on their leg. And you're going to see the leg going into this way. And then you see a small one here. This is how a leg of a domestic fowl looks like. This is the scale. On the leg, these are the phalanges, the fingers, these are claws, blunt claws at the end of their of their leg. Claws at the end of their leg. This claws is an adaptive feature for scratching the soil for food. The bear will use that blunt claws to scratch the ground for food. That is an adaptation of the claws on the leg of a domestic fowl. Organism with this type of leg belongs to kingdom animalia, codata, and also birds. Let's go to specimen L. Another bird, but this time we're talking about dog. Dog. Remember, a dog will also have this type of feather, pale feather. You have this kind of paper that. But different between a dog and a domestic bird, that the mouth of a dog is slender, not pointed beak, slender. Yes, that slender beak is used for sucking, sucking, or sucking dirty water. Or and there's a relationship between specimen L and muddy water. The slender beak of a dog can be used for sucking organism. Water. Remember that the, the habitat of this dog, dog is aquatic. That's why a specimen M, the leg of a dog, just like the leg of a domestic fowl, there is no more difference there. There is scales, scaly eggs, and then the legs, the legs. Is just this way with a web foot. Okay, this is how the leg of a dog is. You will see a web foot or web digits. A web foot or web digits. Yes, 
just like the adaptation of this of this clause on the leg of domestic farm is for scratching food, scratching the soil for food. The function of this web, web, this place is web. The, the function of this web food is for swimming. So that's why the habitat of this K, L, and M is terrestrial and aquatic. But the, but the habitat of specimen H and specimen K is mainly terrestrial. Okay, both this both dog and domestic fowl belong to the same kingdom and milia, the same phylum codata, the same class apes. What are they different? The mouth of a fowl is pointed beak, an adaptation for feeding on grain. The mouth of specimen L, which is the head of a dog, has a slender beak for sucking, for sucking, for sucking. Okay, now, the leg of a dog and a leg of a domestic fowl, what is different? In the leg of a domestic fowl, there is a clause. What is the rule of the clause for scratching the soil for food? Then if you look at the leg, the leg of a dog, it is webbed. The rule of the web enable the organism to swim, just for swimming. So it means that a, that a, a dog can manipulate water because of the web foot or because of the web there digits. But in terms of similarities, boats are birds, boats are animals, boats are one blooded organism. Okay, both has the same specimen J, which is a quail feather. Thank you for watching this video. We wish you all the best in your exam. We are still going to be here to interpret your 2022 Lego practicals, both chemistry, biology, physics, and any other science subjects. Thank you for watching us again.